Oh boy, I sure do wake up happy to be a part of the wonderful YouTube platform every day. I love YouTube. I love the decisions they're making at a corporate level. I think their rampant censorship of channels and content they don't agree with is fantastic. And it's been well over a year since my last video ranting exclusively about the platform that I've been uploading content to for over a decade. I've certainly been a good little boy here on YouTube. So there's no way they would continue to throw channels like mine under the bus, silencing creators and their fans, removing accounts and content for not being, and I quote, commercially viable, or fining a channel $42,000 for answering the question of, is this content kid friendly? Incorrectly. No, no, no. YouTube would never dive on into that. Unless they really are trying to destroy themselves. Hmm. What's going on guys, my name is The Black Link, and oh man do I have some stuff to talk about today. In what seems to be the latest instance of YouTube losing its mind and attempting to commit Sudoku, we've got some insane changes coming to the platform. And that's what we're going to be covering in today's video. Oh yeah, it's time for a rant. So, if you haven't heard yet, YouTube has been updating some of its content creator policies, specifically for content that is supposed to be appealing to children. If you haven't seen, YouTube uploaded on their official YouTube creators account this video. Important update for all creators complying with COPPA. Now what's COPPA you might ask? Well, COPPA is the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. It's an act that was signed in 1998 and was generally created to protect the privacy of children online. From things like tracking services cookies and all of that kind of stuff, to prevent websites and companies from gathering information on children underneath the age of 13. And you might say, well that sounds pretty good, I don't want my kids getting tracked by these creepy, creepy companies. Well, I got bad news, if your kid has a cell phone, they're being tracked. But anyways, what does this have to do with YouTube? Well, YouTube recently settled a lawsuit with the FTC over their violations of this act. Because YouTube does an awful lot of tracking of viewers and personalization of ads and stuff like that. And as a part of that settlement, they're now passing the savings and regulations on to you. By you, I mean YouTube channel creators like myself. Which basically means we've got some brand new absolutely ridiculous guidelines that we now have to abide by. And this is coming in the form of a question that's going to be labeled against your account and all of your videos. Is your content made for kids? That, my friends, is the question every channel owner is now going to have to answer. And believe me, the repercussions of how you answer that question is going to have serious effects on your channel. YouTube's Terms of Service now state that regardless of your location, you're legally required to comply with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act and or other laws. You're required to tell them whether your videos are made for kids. And based on your answer, a few things are going to change. If you tag yourself as, yes, my channel and my videos are made for kids, well then, features like personalized ads and notifications will not be available on videos made for kids. Videos that are set as made for kids are more likely to be recommended alongside other kids' videos. What does that mean? Basically, you're not going to get any sort of personalized ads on your videos, which means if you're making revenue from YouTube, that revenue is about to be cut at least by 50%. Other channels have estimated up to around a 93% loss of revenue for channels that focus exclusively on content for kids and whatnot because they don't get access to those personalized ads. They have less ads running on the channel. So if you're somebody who makes like animations for kids and whatnot, you're basically screwed here. And of course, the big thing there, in my opinion, is the fact that notifications, which are already wonky, YouTube already don't notify subscribers of new content. This is something I have noticed over the past couple of years. It's been a growing problem with YouTube just not pushing content out there for people. To the point where I can actually track via the analytics of my channel the percentage of my subscribers that actually get notified of content. And it's in the single digits. It's like two, maybe three percent of my total subscriber base gets any sort of notifications. It's insane. But with this, if your content is marked as being for kids, no notifications at all for you. The only sort of recommendations you're going to get are on like the YouTube for Kids app, which is effectively going to end the growth of your channel. 
So basically, marking your channel and your content and your videos as being made for kids is almost a death sentence towards the growth and the revenue of your channel. But you might be saying, well then TBL, just don't mark your channel as being for kids. Don't mark your videos as being for kids. Besides, I've been on your live streams, TBL. I see what you'd be talking about. Food and uh, other things, shall we say. And you know what? You'd be right. You can mark your stuff as being not for kids and mostly nothing is going to change. You're still going to get those notifications sent out to, well, whoever YouTube decides to send them to. And of course, you're still going to get personalized ads because YouTube is tracking what the people who visit your channel like to watch and tailoring the ads that they show them based on that. So everything's Gucci, right? Just mark, mark your stuff as not being for kids. Well, no, because this is YouTube, things that are supposed to make sense rarely, rarely do. And here's where things get really, really bad. We'll start with this. What content is considered made for kids? If I'm playing Super Mario Odyssey, which is, you know, a very kid-friendly game, does that automatically mean that content is made for children? How do you determine whether or not some of your specific videos are made for children? I've certainly got some videos here on the channel of stuff like Monster Hunter World, Super Mario Odyssey, Super Smash Brothers, where there's no swearing, there's no sexual content, or you know, nothing objectionable that I say in that. Is that specific video going to be kid-friendly? There's a huge problem here in deciding what content is arbitrarily made for children. And while one group's ideas of what that might be may be one thing, another group's ideas may be something entirely different. But that's not really the problem here. The problem here is that YouTube itself is going to be deciding what content is made for children via machine learning. Later on in this creator's update video, they talk specifically about this. Well, how do you determine what content is made for kids? Well, you're gonna be able to make that determination on a per video basis or just on your channel entirely, but their algorithm ultimately is going to have the last say. Via machine learning, they're going to be taking a look at all of the content that you upload. And guess what? They might decide that some of your content that you marked as not being made for kids is made for kids. And vice versa, they might decide that some of the content that you marked as being made for kids isn't made for kids. And this is where we get into the weeds, because like the example I said before, what if I'm playing Pokemon Sword and Shield? What if I happen to have a live stream for that Nintendo Switch game? And over the course of the live stream, you know, we have some talk about food, we have some talk about some fun stuff, we don't really go into anything explicit or anything specifically adult related. It's still just a video about Pokemon. What if the algorithm decides, that despite the fact that I didn't mark that video or that live stream as being made for kids, that it actually is supposed to be made for kids? After all, it's a video about Pokemon, one of the biggest, if not the biggest kids franchise in the world. The algorithm decides, hey, nope, this content is made for kids and we are explicitly marking it made for kids. Well, guess what? Goodbye subscribers, that video is going to get no more growth, it's going to be put on the YouTube kids friendly thing, but it's also going to be completely restricted in all of the ways that I've described before. And this isn't some crazy crackpot out there conspiracy theory, they explicitly talk about this possibility in YouTube's official video for this. Their algorithm is going to have say in what your content is. And as we've already seen multiple times with Google and especially YouTube, their algorithm, their machine learning ain't that great. It makes mistakes all the time. Shoot, we just had a massive crisis with Markiplier, one of the biggest YouTubers in the world. Having multiple members of his community banned, not just their YouTube account, their Google account, their Gmail account, their Google Drive accounts, all banned. They lost access to all of that because they used emotes in his live stream. So forgive me if I've got little faith in YouTube's machine learning algorithm to handle telling me whether or not my content is supposed to be kid-friendly or kid-focused. And that really is a major issue here. If YouTube arbitrarily decides that your videos are kid-friendly, suddenly those videos are gonna experience no growth. Subscribers won't get any sort of notification for them. They're not gonna be put in front of any new audiences. It's basically kind of like the suppression that already happens to channels like mine, except guaranteed. And unfortunately, that's not even the worst part. I haven't even gotten to the worst bit of this. If you are found to be in violation of the new rules, so say you're putting up some sexy gun-centered content and you're marking it as being made for kids. 
Well, violations of this do come with some potentially heavy fines. A court can indeed hold operators who violate the rule liable for civil penalties of up to $42,530 per violation. Per violation means per video. Which means that a court could potentially fine you $42,000 in excess of $42,000 for every video that you mislabel as being for kids. Which is insane. But taking a step back from the ledge into the realm of realism, in all honesty, that's probably not gonna happen, at least not to most channels out there. The FTC doesn't have enough manpower to police the 300 million hours of uh, videos that are uploaded to YouTube all of the time, so I wouldn't really expect that $42,000 fine to be hitting, you know, content creators left and right. If you've seen some of that hyperbole out there from other YouTubers, you probably don't have to worry about that. Also, this is almost kind of completely unenforceable by the FTC. Yeah, sure, if they wanted to be dicks and a court district wanted to actually go after somebody, they probably could, but there's no way to enforce this on people who live outside of the US. There's no way to enforce it on people who haven't tied like their real name to their YouTube and Google account. Remember, all you need is a Google account, and then you can start up a YouTube channel. You don't have to actually give your real name or anything like that. Although I would expect that if it hasn't changed already. Remember, I made my YouTube account over 10 years ago. If that hasn't changed already, it's probably gonna in the near future if they're gonna be tying in legal ramifications for things like this. But in all honesty, you're probably not gonna have to worry about the big FTC fine there. But unfortunately, beyond that, the ramifications of what YouTube's doing here on its own platform are real. And I feel sorry for anyone trying to make a channel and start up a YouTube presence or career in today's day and age. Seriously, the whole machine learning algorithm part of this is really what scares me the most. As their ability to arbitrarily go back and redefine your videos in a way other than what you yourself define them as and then impose restrictions on your channel and your content based off of what that algorithm decided is everything wrong with current age YouTube. There's no you part of it. And mark my words, between this, uh, them recently announcing that they're going to be closing channels that they find to not be commercially viable, while also simultaneously going through and demonetizing content across half the platform based on ideological differences. Ooh man, we have got some potentially dark days, darker days ahead for the YouTube platform. We could really use a competitor, a real competitor right about now. Here's hoping BitChute's got it all together. But there we go, everybody. That's it for this year's rant against YouTube. And oh man, I get the feeling there's going to be many more to come. Now more than ever, it's important to get out there and support the channels you love. You can do that by dropping a like, leaving a comment, hitting that notification bell, even though it mostly means nothing these days. And making sure you check out the creators you love as often as you can because you never know how much content you're missing because YouTube's deciding to restrict that content and hide it from you. But anyways, I'm out for now. If you'd like to further support the channel, you can do so via channel memberships. There should be a button for that somewhere near the description box below. Memberships start for as low as 99 cent a month and will get you access to cool channel exclusive emotes and stuff like that. But alright, I'm out for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Spread the news. And as always, I am the Black Link. You guys stay frosty.